This is a very quick holy egg, and um, particularly when they were young, the children used to love this. I actually take the onions and egg, some bread, olive oil, salt and pepper, or vegetable oil. So the first thing you do is you cut your crust off, you don't have to, but I do, and then you press in your smallest cake cutter, take, a, take the middle out, which you keep. If you haven't got a cake cutter, use an egg cut. Now you quickly put some oil into your pan, just a little bit of oil, and then put this over, actually I'll put it over here. Once so we heat this oil up, so these eggs were designed uh, to try and get kids to eat eggs and also to make it fun. So you put your bread in one side, so it's still quiet, so you're cooking your bread, in there and when it gets to be reasonably uh, hot and the idea is the bread becomes crunchy on one side then what we're going to do is we're going to crack our egg into the middle so it's nice starting to fizz on the hot side so put the egg in and one of the tricks to this is you have to season your egg very well so look the yolk sits nicely in the hole you can actually use your little extra bit if you want. The next thing you do is lots of salt and pepper. Salt and pepper here, lots of good salt. Oh, probably too much. And then that's going to. And it's actually better to use a non-stick pan for this. It's probably safer to use a non-stick pan for this. So I like this in the morning, but I like it any time. The thing is not to flip it too quickly because you have to have some basis that's cooked underneath or the egg will just split everywhere. And the idea is to make the whole egg look quite neat. So here we go. Just cooking up. Oh, that's a good brown. This is tiny a little bit. So this is not folk cuisine. Now, am I going to flip this too soon? I could be like an easy other flipper, it's better. Right, so this, I don't want to break this, but here we go, we're going to flip it now. There you see your holy egg. So do the same, this is lovely and brown and toasty. And we're going to do it the same side. And the other idea that you do, what you're trying to get is you're trying to get your um, bread fried nicely but you kind of make sure that your yolk is still soft. I'm going to get a plate, a fork and knife. I'm going to get a couple more minutes. And here you have the most delicious holy egg. If I say so myself, fantastic.